Uh, hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to go over with you my next big challenge I've had with uh, interactive brokers. Nothing against interactive brokers, but um, when you do a Google search looking for universal symbol lookup, you're usually taking to a page of uh, not that good. So if I do a lookup of um, interactive uh, brokers symbol lookup usually you'll come across this one page here um, which kind of doesn't work all that well you get these um, I don't know I'll just put in gold and you get this forbidden whatever but fortunately um, when you do a lookup you will come across this product listing. This one's the better one. This will take you to uh, here. Um, which I'll, yeah. So you have all the asset classes right across the top. So if you are looking at stocks, this is what you have access to. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. So you have just North America. I could look up um, Direct Edge. Uh, if I want to look up universally. Here all the symbols are available to me. So if I want to look up this Aberdeen Japan Equity Fund, here's my Windows version of uh, TWS Trader Workstation. Let me just get the um, symbol here. So I am looking for, let's just say, I don't know, this Aberdeen Singapore, whatever. I can just type in E or SGF, I believe, S G F. Now, if you press uh, tab, you'll get all these symbols here, um, but this is obviously the one we want. Um, so there you go. You get all the current pricing. We know it's a uh, um, it is a stock, but um, that's just one methodology to look up your universal stock symbols. And as I said here, under um, it's confusing. Let's just start here again. Uh, <laughs> this is confusing. Okay, so we're back at stock. So you can get it via all the major regions. Now, you, but once you sign up, I think even with the demos, you get access to this list, which is really powerful, even um, Germany. So again, you have access to all the symbols. So let's look at um, some other asset classes. We obviously have Asia Pacific, we have options. Now to get access to this data um, through, uh, through, through IQ feed, you'd be paying through the nose. But um, let me just uh, check out one of these on the Chicago Exchange, or Gemini, I guess. Um, I'll choose this one, the Axiom ACXM. Let's see if I have access to it. Let me just clean up this one. A, what was it? AX. So we want AX. Let's say ACRX. ACRX. Again, I always like to press my little tab to see what I'm getting myself into. Um, so it looks like we have an options. Uh, oh, no. Sorry. Um, yeah, it looks like I got that incorrectly. Do I put in IB symbol? That's odd. Um, because, uh, let me just try this, uh, ACRX. Let me try that again. ACRX. So we are getting the Accelerus Pharmaceutical. Okay, so if we get the option... Oh, I see. Okay, so these are the options within the, um, we have to choose one of these contracts. So I guess, yeah. So we can kind of work it um, in the TWS. I'll have to play around with the options because options can be kind of tricky to play with. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. Let um, me just do a better, uh, let's say futures. Um, I'll choose CME. We will choose, I don't know, um, the 
do I do I choose this, the cheese? Let's do the cheese. Make ourselves sound real important here. So I'll put in CSC, press tab. So we got Computer Sciences Corp or Cheese Globex. Now, this is where it gets confusing. When am I supposed to enter here for CSC Futures? Um, let me just pull up one of these here. It says CRX Index. So I have chosen. So if I choose CSC like that, what am I going to get? Oh, I have to pick it off still. Question is, what if I was to enter in um, the CSC in my uh, Java Java Builder or Java Test Client? If I get the same index, that's what I'm trying to figure out. But you see here, we have an index, but we may not want that. We want oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. You got to enter in the contract info. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you. That's that's a different symbol again. Um, CSC plus a contract. I, I've kind of covered that in one of the um, previous videos in Interactive Brokers. Anyways, let me try <laughs> another another asset class here. Okay, so the options and futures a little different. I'll get a better handle on that. Let me try an ETF here. Uh, NYSC Arca. Let's try. Um, we will try OTP. Oh, it is OTP. That's Guggenheim. Ocean Tomo Patton. Okay. O C was it O T P Tab. So bond stock combinations. Um, so here's where it gets interesting if I do that find that I just showed you. So we're looking for OTP Bank OTP Futures. Uh or sorry, ETF. So pink, WBS. Hmm. Interesting, but you can see how it gets kind of confusing. Let me try uh, another uh, item here. Uh, we will try warrants. We don't usually worry about. Forex seems to be pretty good uh, under the exchange for global. So I'll just choose one of these guys. Uh, EUR. For I believe that would be European Monetary Union Euro. Let's see what that will pull up. So we want EUR um, SEK. So that is supposed to be ERU SEK European Monetary Union Euro. Let's see what that comes up with. Um, so this is us. So buy sell. Okay, that is that is a forex item, which is good. I'm gonna try another one just to make sure. Uh, yeah, let's try this one. This is I think South American Z or Zaire. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Um, let's just see USD. Now is that a period? USD Z A R. Looks like it. That may work. Using Z Zaire. I think, yes, that must be, well, Z-A-R, but that seems to, to work okay. Okay, let me just uh, delete that, get rid of these two other ones. Um, let's get it back to where it was. Okay. Um, so we've got the Forex done. These are all the major um, types that you would typically work with. Okay, so let's let's choose metals, another big one that we typically use. So we're Ideal Pro Metals. So, oh, there's only two, so I don't know. Let's uh, do gold, XAU, XAU, US dollar. So, oh, um, we're back to our options, a commodity. Let's see if that comes up with anything. So here's our options. So, wow, you can choose all the different um, types of exchanges here, or contracts. Um, wow, this is impressive. So if I go city effects, which I know some people use. Oh, so because I'm, I'm uh, in the demo mode here, I don't have access to it. Okay, that's fair enough. But it looks like you could do it if you have a real account. 
Okay, no problem. Next up. Um, mm, mm, mm. Okay, so we've got medals. Looks like you only know to do two. Uh, what did I miss some here? No. Okay, indices. Let's just try. I'm sure it's no different than the. Let's try the NYSC. Let's try Barclays. DJP. DJP. IV. So this does bring us a, a index. Let me just D, D J P I V. I guess that's what we want. Yeah, same answer. Fictional data not available. I'm sure that's going to be set for a, a lot of these. Um, let's try the NYSC uh, healthcare. Okay. Let's say N Y K I D the New York Financial Index. Uh, let me try another way. N Y D um, I D, which is the uh, energy. Okay. Yeah, fictional data, so a lot of these will not work. Fair enough. Um, let me get rid of these guys just to clean up this crop. Oh, whatever. Okay, let me try a couple other asset classes of interest. Um, let's see, what do we have access to? Funds. Okay, we could try bonds. I don't think we'll go very far with this. Uh, Muni Center, I don't know. We'll do a Muni. Um, uh, no, I don't think there's no point in even trying that. And let's try the last one, which is funds. Alliance, let's say we want a Black Rock uh, Mutual Fund. So here, let's try this valley basic, basic uh, BlackRock value fund. Okay, so we're going to go MCBAX, find. Okay, there was no companies or assets. Okay, let's try it again, MC. BAX. See if that comes up. Oh, we got a fund here, BlackRock. So yeah, there you go. Fictional data not available. So you will need a live trading account to get access to all these uh, other uh, asset classes. Okay, um, but it's pretty good considering one 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 place on the interactive broker site so we can access to a lot of the major stuff, which is good because I don't have to sign up and be a real world uh, client. But so far I'm impressed with, with what I'm seeing. Anyways, I'll uh, talk to you later. Hopefully this will help you out somewhere along the line.